when you have questions, do not hesitate to ask any questions. You just call me Richard, I'm easygoing. Let me ask you, who of you has in this room has an engineering background? One, two, three, four, five, okay. Those of you who do not have a, an engineering background, do not worry. Uh, I have here quite a few small models which I use to um, explain what I'm presenting on the screen. Uh, and when you still don't understand, do not hesitate to ask, uh, no problem. Um, we have quite an extensive program. I'm glad you picked a four-day seminar because I have also two and three-day seminars. The four-day seminar is uh, 14 chapters, the two-day seminar is 12 chapters. It's basically the same except there's only one chapter is shipping either shipping or uh, uh, offshore. And chapter one is introduction and general knowledge. Uh, it shows what kind of equipment is available in the world on transport and lifting and checking uh, in offshore and shipping vessels. Uh, then chapter two, as I said, that's actually the most important subject. It's forces, masses, center of gravity. It talks about the three laws of Newton. And if you understand the three laws of Newton and understand masses, forces and center of gravity, that's basically what you need to know to, uh, to handle heavy lifts and heavy loads safely. Uh, then chapter three is heavy transport and lifting by means of uh, hydraulic platform trailers. It uh, talks about what is a hydraulic platform trailer, what is an axle, what is an axle line, uh, what is a hydraulic suspension, what kind of capacity do we uh, have for a hydraulic platform trailer, how can we configure a particular trailer for a, for a load. Uh, if you have a long pressure vessel or a smaller load, what kind of trailers do we select for that? We talk about stability. Uh, three and four point suspension systems. Uh, what do you need to, s to avoid trailers from tipping over? Uh, we talk about heavy duty uh, tractors. What kind of pulling force can a heavy duty tractor develop? Uh, I give you some tips and uh, guidelines how to quickly estimate how many tractor units we need if we want to pull a heavy load up, up a slope. Then that's for the first day. Then the second day we start with uh, lifting of loads. Uh, basically it's the lifting subjects. I talk here about lifting of loads with one or more cranes, but it's a lifting subject. It deals with uh, what is a crane, what is important with the crane, what is the stability of a crane, uh, what is load moment, uh, how do we make a lift plan, how do we calculate simple uh, sling forces. Uh, I, I, I like to try to keep things simple so that people remember it and do not, you know, dig into their head or pick up a book. Just, you know, give some simple tips. Uh, what is stability of the load? Uh, a lot of people have no idea what stability of the load is, but we'll show you that by means of these models. So there are a lot of subjects which, which we will we'll cover. Uh, after lifting, we continue with uh, maintenance and inspection is uh, important because you need to keep your equipment in good condition. So we'll touch upon that. Then we continue with skidding and jacking techniques. Talks about the various methods of skidding, how we move loads and why do we use skidding instead of trailers. Uh, what kind of jacking equipment is available. Uh, climbing jacks, strand jacks. Uh, various modes of uh, how to load out a heavy module, etc. Then we, uh, another short chapter is setup of a project planning. Um, do you remember the seven P's? The seven P's, proper planning and preparation prevents piss poor performance. After skidding and jacking we go, uh, and setup of project planning, we go to preparation of a cost estimate. How do we set up a cost estimate uh, before you can contract a job and you want to make an offer to your client? You need to know what is the cost for this project. Uh, we all know there is a budget for that project, but before we 
sell a, something or want to give the client an offer, you first have to calculate yourself and find out at what cost can I execute this project. To the third day, where we talk about loadouts of uh, extreme heavy lift, heavy loads, so roll on, roll off, the various type of roll on, roll off operations, uh, rolling on off a barge during tidal conditions, during non-tidal conditions, during a barge which is uh, beached on a, on a, on a, on a, on a beach, uh, so grounded. Uh, what kind of uh, precautions you have to take? Uh, we talk about roll on, roll off ramps. You can roll on using a steel bridging ramp between the barge and the quay, but you can also use steel plate. So no roll on ramps. Why do we use one and why and when do we use the other method? Um, we uh, then talk about the safety and risk management, another important chapter. Uh, most of the companies nowadays have, have set up a safety management system in their company because they all realize that uh, safety and, and uh, paying attention to safety will on the long run pay. Management. Then we continue to heavy lift shipping. I'll show you uh, I give you an overview of the uh, various type of heavy lift ships. We have lift on, lift off ships, we have roll on, roll off and we have float on and float off or a combination of the two or three together. Uh, and we show you the different type of cranes used in lift on, lift off ships, uh, various row row vessels, um, stability. We talk extensively about stability but I cannot handle all details of stability so I basically talk about the basics of ship stability and finally we talk about lashing and securing. Also again I cannot go into much detail but I'll, at least I'll give you the, the basics. From heavy lift shipping we continue to offshore lifting uh, techniques and that's the f say most of the, the part of the third day it may shift a little bit and then we go to the fourth day which starts with accidents and how to avoid them. Uh, and uh, I'll show you various examples of accidents and what went wrong and why it went wrong and what they should have, could have done in order to prevent it. And then uh, finally we wrap up and again the do's and don'ts in lifting is basically a summary of what we have discussed the past few days. And then at the end of the fourth day we have an evaluation test. Uh, we have 35 questions, multiple choice. Each question has four answers, A, B, C and D. And you can select whichever you find is the best answer. Now, part of the test is also reading. Okay. So that's basically the program. Here, uh, this is just a summary of conversion units. Unfortunately, uh, in the world, we officially have the ISO uh, decimal metric system and the whole seminar will be in the decimal system. Um, I have started my seminars in 2008 and since then I have done 92, this is 93, 92 seminars in 24, actually this is number 25, 25 countries.